bank with a full proper banking license and we focus on digital nomads. Those are people who live in one place and work in another or roam around the world. Uh, and I think we have a fantastic offering for them. So no physical headquarters because you're purely online as in nobody can wander into a branch. Exactly. Yes. Is this the, like the Amazon days where there isn't actually a branch then suddenly they crop up, there's a bookstore and suddenly there's a grocery store? Is this one of those things where you stay lean and mean but then down the track when you get to maturity you do actually open up branches? Well, the image of ending up being something like Amazon is one I fully subscribe to, <laughs> so I hope so. But, but with it, would the business model change as you grow? Is Oh, what, what you have now fit because it is about saving on costs and keeping things quite light? Well, I think it's the other way around. We do whatever our users want, want us to. And because our users roam around the world, having physical branches doesn't really service them. They need to be able to do whatever they want, whenever they want, right in the palm of their hands. So we've spent a lot of time and energy to make sure they can do so. Now, as time changes and our user demands changes, we will obviously cater to their needs. How do you compete in this space, though? I mean, like you said, there's that differentiation. Yes, you have clients who are uh, all, all over the world, really, and really travel. They, they live in one place, go to another, etc. But how do you then stay abreast of all of that, considering how quickly those needs also change? Um, is it the fact that you aren't placed in just one area? That's a great question. So if I look at the banking scene as a whole, it's very conservative. There appears to be a lot of competition, but there isn't really, because most banks mostly do more or less what the other banks do as well. And therefore, it is this uh, perception of users that there is nothing to really choose about. And so our main target is to get and target those 99% of the users that are still at traditional banks and try to persuade them to consider neobanks. Mm. You've also entered the insurance market. Why? Yes, because uh, as people roam around the world, travel insurance is a very important important part of that and being able to roam around worry free is something that we cater to and we saw that this was the number one thing our users wanted to and so as we are bunk we stepped in and we catered to that need. I just went onto your website and made me think about something uh, that I hadn't really thought about which is we know we're cashless. I mean the last time we paid in cash uh, you know it was quite a while but the last time I actually physically got my credit card out that's been a while too because you use your mobile phone, a lot of it's uh, online payments where all your details are stored and on your side I can see virtual credit cards. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? You don't actually get issued a, a physical credit exactly. card? Exactly. Yeah, we, we can see I think the Netherlands leads the pack in Europe with, uh, when it comes to mobile payments and sometimes when you w want to purchase stuff online you want to have a specific credit card to do so for safety reasons or for budgeting reasons and that is possible with Bunk. You can have up to 25 virtual credit cards, so you can use them for whatever need you want.